All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's finally here. The K40 ZXS auto bed. All right, here we go. It's uh, come out a bit larger than what I originally planned. Uh, it's a tight fit, but it fits perfectly into the K40. So what we have here is our upper limit at the moment. This is the focal length of the laser and the bed will stop automatically at this height. We have our switch, we have our power supply. Let's have a look at the power supply. Everything comes with the bed, ready to play, plug and play. That's all we need to do is plug this supply in the back of the uh, laser. And this mounts on the side, which I will show you later. I'll show the installation of the bed. So what we got here is basically down we go. I don't know if you can see this, but it's going down now. We have about uh, 20 millimeters of play on this setting. There's another setting I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so the bottom limit is obviously to here, obvious to here. Uh, that's at the bottom right now, and let's take it back up. So as it rises, obviously you get different focal length on your laser, depending on the thickness of the material that you're going to be using. So as it comes up, it will stop automatically at the perfect, right there, at the perfect uh, focal height for the laser. So what you can also do, obviously, is go on top of this with another... If you don't want, wish to use a honeycomb, you can put this on top. And of course go up and down and do what you need to do. Or what you can do also is flip this out, the honeycomb. And I have these pop off. And pop these bad boys on. This will lower the internal bed to get even thicker material so we place these here two on the long side one on the short side and we pop our material down inside oops like such oops and the other way so what we get now is there even deeper bed that will adjust as well so you can go even further down so obviously that's the top position there so if a thicker piece of material you'll also get another I don't know what's that 15 mil as I say as we go down get to the bottom there we are. So you get that much more depth as well to play with. All you have to do is change these 3D printed tabs. So if you're cutting any sort of material um, that may laser over the plastic connectors here, I would suggest a piece of uh, alfoil over the top so it doesn't cut through the plastic itself, just in case you're cutting on the uh, external edges here uh, let's have a look on the side because you can't really see it okay let's rise her up here there we go you can get a bit of view there of the uh, lift as we rise up there we go stop in at that perfect height so the bed will ship with the supply, switch, setup, motor, everything ready to go. Uh, the only thing that doesn't come with is the honeycomb. You'll have to purchase that yourself. So anyone wishing to buy it, please contact me down below uh, through the email. I will leave in the description. Um, and we can go from there if you have any questions, anything you would like to know. Okay, here's the installation of the motorized bed. What you need to do is make sure it's all the way down, all the way down to the bottom. 
and then get our cables and put them underneath here and up the other side two cables now the motor end goes down this side so all we need to do is get it in here this side down here and then we've got to get it underneath this point here so it gets underneath and then drop the whole thing down so let's do it again wires underneath okay now as we get in we put the motor on the left side down inside first and then here underneath and then drop the whole thing down and then it'll center in the middle so it'll be just in front of the motor here and just underneath the event switch will come up and mount on the hole that's left from the strip that you remove from here we undo that okay and to mount the switch we located here where the hole is this will sit on top and use the same screw that came out of the strip that we took out that will sit there screw that down and that controls the up and down motion alrighty power connections all you have to do is plug this in this way into the extra socket at the back that way everything will turn on when you turn the power on the machine so all you'd have to do is put it through this little hole that's always there where is it? There. Get that in the hole. And need to fish it out from the other side. There it is there. And then all you have to do is connect both ends. Here's the side. It's a bit hard one-handed. To get the idea just connect that that's the power side done run the cable up at the back there so it's out of the way and that's it all done okay let's go down There we go. That 2.3 centimeters, 23 millimeters. Take up. Okay, as you can see, I have a bit of a stock ready to go, ready to ship out. So, anyone interested, please contact me. Thanks very much. See you on the next show.